What's going on guys, Mr. Domo back at it again with another unboxing video of vintage Star Wars action figures graded by AFA. It is so fresh, I can smell the peanuts from here. Man, this literally just came through the mail like a few minutes ago. I unboxed it, took out the bubble wrap, and there they are. I sent in eight figures to get graded. I, I I had a little extra money in my pocket, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna send in eight figures, and I did that, and I am so glad, cause it is so, I don't know, man, it's just a, it's just an awesome feeling when you get these, uh, you know, figures back, and you're just like, what grades are gonna get, what variants, and uh, I mean, it, it is, it is really, really cool experience. So let's go ahead and kick this off with a Java, and so here we have Java, and, um, really cool i am digging this afa new uh new case style i know i say that every video but i really really dig it um and and now it's like man now i want to get the uh first 12 all in the new case style but i don't know that's that's you know that's gonna cost extra money you know so here we go we have a 1977 kenner star wars loose action figure Country of origin, Hong Kong, Java, and he is a dark brown stitch, and he received an 85 plus near mint plus score. So that is really cool because uh, two different collections that I wanted to start this year is a Java and a Stormtrooper variant collection. And so now I got a dark brown stitch. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, my first 12, I have a light brown stitch Java. So this is really cool because now he's going to be added to that collection. And then I got a whole bunch of Stormtroopers and I got to send them in as soon as I can. So next one is <laughs> my dude right here, Bo Bubba Fett, my tri logo Bubba Fett, and uh, I, you know he's a beater, but you know what? I don't care because he is a tri logo, and to me, that is cool because now I have a Hong Kong, Taiwan, and the tri logo Boba Fett. So really awesome. So here we have a 1979 Kenner Star Wars loose action figure, no country of origin, Boba Fett, light blue painted knee and he, of course he's a beater so he got that 60 and i i was surprised he got a 60 i was like mm, he's probably gonna get a 50 you know he's got a lot of paint rub and uh i think he's got some scratches on his uh rocket back there so but you know what that's all right man that's all right because you know what he's cool in my book i don't care what score he's got so next one right here we have Luke Skywalker in the X-Wing pilot uniform. And I just love the face uh, on this Luke Skywalker. I don't know what it is. He reminds me of those like old school, you know, uh, play school Lego sets. And it's kind of like the faces that they would have on those figures. So I don't know. It's really funny. But here we have a 1978 Kenner Star Wars loose action figure. Country of Origins, China. Luke X-Wing pilot and he received an 80 plus near mint score so really cool to see that oh my god this guy has a hilarious face I don't know why so we'll put that guy right there uh, another Luke uh, and this time this is the Jedi Luke uh, so he is a he is a blue saber there's a I know there's a two variants out there with the the lightsaber so there's a blue and then there's a green and then there's a whole bunch of variants depending on his face i mean there's like a pale a flush kind of skin tone and then the hands and of course country of origin and i believe the cape too uh there's different variants out there so this guy is a 1983 kenner star wars loose action figure Country of origin, Hong Kong, Luke Jedi Knight, Blue Saber, and he received an 85 near mint plus score. So really cool. And of course, I got another Luke out here, and this is the famous uh, farm boy version of Luke Skywalker. Check that out. So here we have a 1977 
Kenner Star Wars loose action figure. This is a Taiwan country of origin Luke Skywalker, blonde hair, dark pants, and he receives a 75. So not too bad. I mean, you know, these these guys are kind of hard to maintain because they got so much white, and you know that um, it's it's so hard to you know get these guys uh, you know mostly all white, and of course. Uh, you know, look at that. You could tell the different colorations there. And, and of course, the sun bleach and all that. So really cool to have that guy right there. So there's the three Lukes on that side. And of course, his father, Darth Vader. Check this out. And I am super stoked about this guy because he is a 1977 Kenner Star Wars loose action figure. Country of origin, Hong Kong, Darth Vader, and letter on Saber Hilt. 85 so that is really cool and i can't i don't know if you guys could make it out i couldn't make it out but i do not know what letters are there i probably have to take the poly bag off and then expect it you know further but that is pretty cool because i know these guys are kind of like People are always asking, you know, hey, do you have any, uh, you know, Darth Vader's or Skywalker's with, you know, uh, letters on the hilt on these sabers? And, you know, sometimes they have like a, a HH or MM, KK, whatever. I don't know, some weird designation of letters that were put on when these guys were manufactured. But that is really cool. I did not know that. I, I, like I said, it's always a surprise when they get back because you never know. And I can't see this stuff with the naked eye, so really, really cool. All right, so next we have Princess Leia here, and this is another uh, brown hair, brown belt uh, variant, and she is a 1977 Kenner Star Wars loose action figure, country of origin, Hong Kong, Princess Leia, Organa, brown hair, brown belt, and she received an 80 plus near mint score so that is really neat and of course that's hard to tell i would have thought hey that's black hair and no, that's a black belt but afa says it's brown and so it's got to be brown i mean they're looking at this stuff through like a microscope so hey i'll trust them on that one and last but not least here we go look at those pearly whites right there so if you guys didn't know they are two major variants with these landos there's the one with no white teeth and then there's this guy with the white teeth check those out man this guy takes care of his teeth so here we have a 1980 kenner star wars loose action figure country of origin hong kong lando carician with teeth 80 plus near mint score so that is really cool uh i didn't think he was gonna get a high score but that is really nice and i am super ecstatic about these scores and i am cool i am so happy just to get my boba fett back right there bam my tri logo and now i have a new addition to my collection there my new java collection now i got the light brown and a dark brown stitch so I am super ecstatic and uh, I cannot wait for more figures to come back from AFA because this is a really cool experience and um, if you guys have any vintage action figures I would say I would encourage you do it it is it's really fun but that's it for now thanks for watching if you haven't you know hit that like button subscribe share it really helps the channel out and I will talk to you guys later